Thanks for joining me on this tutorial of multi-track editing or multi-camera editing, two-camera editing. In my situation here, I actually have two cameras and a backup digital audio recorder. And then I also have another uh, doubled up track, as you can see here. Now, I've done this shoot myself, solo, two cameras, and like I said, a backup digital recorder. So to sync up my tracks, I will go over that, but I did want to show you this is what my final product looked like. I have camera one, main camera, camera two, my backup camera for the audience, and then I also have my track one, here's my track two doubled up, and here is my digital recorder. Now, syncing these up, um, I definitely will show you how to do it, but it's just really a matter of looking at these waveforms. Um, and you can see as we get into this, uh, it, it doesn't look like it's synced up perfectly. So I will definitely go over that and show you how to get this accomplished. Okay, so what I've done here is started a new project so we can start from scratch. I have my media here, camera, my main camera, backup camera, digital audio recorder. So let's bring in clip 11, and I just drag my media right onto my timeline. I know that my footage is 1440 footage, but if you do not know, then your properties may be set up differently. A real quick tip, what I do is I right click on my clip up once I've dra dragged it into my timeline. I say properties, I go to general, and then I just look right here. Everything you really want to know is going to be in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of times uh, people will give me footage and I'm not even sure what it is, so I will just go in here and, and they're not really sure exactly how it was shot either. So I just go in here, 1440 by 1080. At least that's going to give me some sort of idea here. And then here's the frames per second, 29.970. So then I know I can go up into my properties and have it set to this appropriate um, screen resolution. And that is going to make a big difference. So please. If your videos are not looking right, but you know that they originally looked right, then there is something absolutely wrong with your settings. So you will have to revisit that. Um, you could request questions to me if you had some, and I can try to answer them the best I can. And I definitely do um, answer people right away. So thanks for anybody who has ever asked a question or made a comment. I appreciate it. Next. So here I have my clips that are broke up individually. I may have gone over this in a previous tutorial, but what you would do is click on Ignore Event Grouping, and then you can drag them together. I personally like to sync up my videos that way because when you have multi-track, sometimes you'll drag them and you don't know which ones are together and if you don't have them linked then you may be syncing up the wrong audio to the wrong video. If you can't follow that, I apologize. So I can see that my clip is number 11. The way I did that was went into view, went down to active take information. So your video clips will probably look like this, but I absolutely need to have my clip information so I go down and make sure active take information is selected and then I can see that this is clip 11. Um, if you were to rename them in your folder then I think those main names will just translate right over. So I'm shooting mine digitally, they're just giving them random numbers. Uh, sometimes that can be pretty complicated if you don't have your footage in the right folder because then you have two threes, two elevens, which is my main show. So keep your folders organized. That's going to help you in the long run. Now I have number three. You can just drag it down here and you can see that it's doubled up. 
That's what happens when you don't have another track. So of course you can go right click, insert video track on your timeline here, up into your insert video track, audio track, or you can just really even drag it down. A lot of times you can um, just drag and make extra clips. So unfortunately with the video it doesn't work that way. It might work down this way. I don't know. Experiment. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. That is the beauty of editing because there's never really one right way to do it. It's just how do I do it? Um, how do you end up doing it? You can adapt any editing style to your own. Once you know the tools, you know what to do with them, you know what's what you are capable to do in an editing program, it's pretty much standard. You can have Final Cut, you can have Avid, you can have Pinnacle, you can have Premiere, you can have Sony Vegas, which I love, but it's all the same across every single editing program, pretty much. All right, so now we can see here we have our two video tracks. It gets complicated because you can see on track three that's really my backup camera and it's just people so you're not really sure of you know if you had two cameras pointing at this gentleman speaking easy to sync up but when it's in a scenario like this where you just have to go off audio alone you really need to just listen first off and make sure you're at the right spot and then you need to look at your waveforms down here which is very 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 helpful and right now I can uh, you know kinda of play around with it um, visually and see if maybe I might get lucky doesn't look like I'm going to so I'm going to listen Good job. Born with my grand Oklahoma, and the reason I'm Gary Crowley. I'm All right, so I would just delete this part right now, drag this guy down. You can do what I am doing, but you can also use mute if you wanted to just visually see a track and then you can also mute your track down here so you could have both of them muted or opposite you can if you're trying to sync up and just listen to three let's say we're all stacked on top of each other um, just go solo and then you can your dad is an auctioneer yes, sir. and he sells about five auctions are they cattle auctions? Cattle auctions. Around which, which up in cattle sales in Texas does he sell? Uh, Gainesville, Texas. No, uh, he made the cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got blessed to have this person. Wow. Four years here, awesome. Two, two, two world champions, ladies and gentlemen. Two names that uh, pop up every time people want to emulate someone. So, excellent. Okay, what do we have to start? Polished uh, stag hen. Hey, pocket knife. Forty-nine I hate the states uh, the pad or south my <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to listen to this. I, it's been you know a long time since I've even looked at this raw footage. Not even sure if these two clips match up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roger Shockman. Okay. You know, I've shot this, so I definitely know that I am on the right track. He is the next person. And having a good memory and really paying attention is also going to help a lot. So I know that this gentleman here um, was after the gentleman that just spoke. So... Now that I have these two clips, you can see that it's going to just line right up beautifully for me. So I kind of just eye it up. You know, kind of just drag around these clips because I, I know it's going to be here somewhere. So 
So what, there was that gentleman. So I'm going to have to listen to it again. I'm trying to learn how to have a gay run. He said, thank you, because if you have a run of gay So he said, uh, you better bid. We only have 500 gallons left. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, a 16. $30. Okay. So we're from Canada, and you know. I'm Gary. Yep, there we are. Okay, so this takes time too and patience. So, you know, when it, it when I say easy, that's really a matter of perspective. Let's say because this isn't easy, and um, you have to have a lot of patience. So just know, you know, if you need to take a break, step away and come back. Okay, so I can see he's finishing up talking to that gentleman. And then here is the audio I am looking for. And it's it, it's exciting. I got to say, when you get it synced up and, you know, you're just ready to edit, it feels good. So let's minimize I'm that. I'm Gary Carley. I made my home at McAllister, Oklahoma. You listen to Ralph Wade on TV on Friday? Why, well, sure. Well, my wife and I, we listen to Snooky on Friday. Uh, that's on Friday night, I think. And we're going to have to get on the Ralph channel or something. Like Ralph. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to bring in my audio recorder last. I do that because sometimes the audio levels on my digital recorder are very low and it's really hard to get um, a waveform reading off it. Now with this, this is really long so I obviously didn't break it up into the small clips as I did before. Unfortunately you just have to go through and listen again. You can pull down your gain as you're listening and then to you know sometimes what I do is because I can't visually see the similarities because maybe one waveform is so high like this track so what I'll do is I'll drag it down so it matches so they look identical they're about the same height and then a lot of times it's easier to find it that way as well but I'm just gonna I, I'm gonna take a guess and I'm not gonna waste any of your time here so I'm gonna pause this and sync this up and come right back. Okay, I have located it and I haven't fully synced it up yet because so for my final sync often what I'll do and you can see on this track three how the levels do not look the same it's because the camera something must have been wrong with my audio levels I must have been manually adjusting these or it was not able to adjust. And I can, and now I'm remembering this was just a little tiny manual backup camera that I used. It didn't look that bad, but it didn't look great either. So here we are. What I do, look for breaks in the audio, or I look in. Look for high points. Maybe they, um, somebody slapped their hands. And that's often, you know, back in the day or during production work, you'll kind of slate things and then you'll have a clapboard and it's really easy to sync. But ideally, I don't bring a clapboard. I never use a clapboard. I don't clap my hands much. Um, a lot of times it's just me shooting. So I have two cameras and I'm running around and I edit it anyhow, so I don't go crazy with that. Sometimes I wish I would. But often, it doesn't really take that long. You just need to expand into your track as much as you can and then just go down and check another place. And here is a really ideal because you can see there's a lot of peaks here. And you can see my left and right track are split. Left and right track do not look identical. So when you're trying to sync, just go off of um, what you think looks more comparable to these other tracks that I know were natural audio. 
My other track was maybe on a microphone. Um, so left track was one, right track was another. I had a microphone going into my left track up at the speaker. I had natural audio off the camera on the other one. Okay, well, we are all synced up. About every uh, section, there's a good auctioneer in Oklahoma. Yes, sir, there, there is. You bet. Okay, yes. what, do you have any ambitions? Do you have any goals? Just in case. I don't think. Damn, pretty, damn, pretty, damn, 20 pounds here. Damn, pretty, damn, pretty, don't wear 20 sympathy, 20 pounds here. Well, there you have it. So from here, you would just um, cut in between. Maybe I'll make another tutorial um, just how I would do it. Right away, you can see visually that's the beautiful thing with Sony Vegas. I can see there's maybe a lady standing here. So you know when to cut away just by visually looking at your camera two or camera B or whatever you want to call it. You can call it whatever you want. That's the beauty of being a producer. You call the shots. So thanks for watching and hopefully this worked. And please, again, if you have comments, leave them. I'd love some. And if you'd like to subscribe, I will definitely be making more videos. So thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.